I'm going to show you an odd but effective way to sew zippers. I've seen a lot of tutorials where they do two stitches because of the zipper head, but I'll show you a way that you can get it done in one stitch, which just makes it a lot cleaner of a stitch job. This trick works best if you have a domestic machine. If you have an industrial machine, it's probably not going to be that convenient. But also, if you have an industrial machine, you're probably pretty serious with sewing. So I don't really think you're looking for zipper tips. First off, look in your sewing machine for a press foot that looks like this. This is a zipper presser foot. It's got this bar that goes across from left to right. And that allows you to attach to the sewing machine depending on what side you're sewing. It's also got this funky groove at the bottom of the presser foot. But that actually brings the side edges of the presser foot up. Gives you a little bit of clearance so that when you're working with zippers, it provides space for the zipper teeth to flow underneath the press foot as the feed dogs are pulling the zipper and fabric through. And also when you're sewing with zippers, you want to do a little stitch at the top to tie the zipper tape together. That way when you're moving the slider up and down, the zipper tape stays in position, which is key for getting a nice clean and straight zipper stitch. Once you have your zipper tape stitched together, you're going to take your zipper and place it against your fabric. There's a few different ways to have a zipper applied. You can do a centered zipper, invisible zipper, lapped, or exposed zipper. No matter which way you choose to apply the zipper, at some point you're going to be sewing and sewing and you're going to approach the slider head. Before you move anything around, anytime you want to move things around or undo clips or pins, you want to make sure that the sewing needle is in the down position so you don't lose your previous stitch. We're at the end of the zipper so the slider can't go down anymore because you're going to run into it eventually. So you're going to lift your press foot up and pull the zipper through so you can continue sewing on that same stitch. As you go around the corner and come back, the zipper slider is still going to be there so you do the same thing, lift the press foot, push it through and then keep sewing. But it's not always going to be that easy because that almost seems too good to be true. Sometimes you get a slider that's too big to fit underneath the presser foot or you have a pull tab that's just too small to reach to be able to push and maneuver it through. Can't get a good grip on it, nothing's happening, so you're stuck. This is where you can pull this trick out of your hat. You take the presser foot off and then slowly, very carefully, especially because you're working around the needle, use that zipper tab to pull it across. Now there's less of a barrier because the zipper foot was a little bit restricting, which didn't give us a space for our fingers or the zipper slider to move through past the needle. But once the press foot's gone, there's more space for you to get through. So once that's cleared, attach the press foot back, put the press foot down, and continue sewing on that same stitch. If you're looking for free sewing patterns or how to sew something like this, check out my channel for other tutorials and tips and tricks on sewing. And until next time, peace.